three ingredient pancake day. Hi, my name is Olivia Wiles and this is my channel where I share easy keto recipes made for real life. If it doesn't have five to seven ingredients, it does not belong on this channel. So three ingredient keto pancake, keto friendly pancake. How do we make them? Okay, so we're gonna need some cream cheese that is room temperature, just a little keto baking tip. Most things do well at room temperature. We're gonna do cream cheese, eggs, a keto approved sweetener, a sugar-free sweetener like Lakantos, and a little bit of cinnamon, because I like cinnamon. It's solely optional. That is a fourth ingredient, I'm sorry, but it's optional. I like cinnamon, it makes it more tasty. So I have to warn you, this isn't really a pancake. Sorry. It's more like a crepe. It's pretty flat, but it tastes like pancakes. So you wanna call it a pancake, you wanna call it a crepe, I don't care. It tastes awesome and it's easy to make. If you wanna make it more pancakey, you can put some baking powder or baking soda in it and it will do its little sciencey thing, make it poof, and then you got some fluffy pancakes. These pancakes are not the pancakes though. I wanna stick to three ingredients for this recipe. So we have three and a half ingredients. <laughs> the cinnamon. To make the three ingredient pancakes, you want to add all the ingredients to a small mixing bowl. Mix well. The electric mixer or immersion blender will make it a lot easier. You want this to be a smooth batter and the cream cheese can be a little bit finicky, so make sure your batter is super blended for this recipe. You want the mixture to rest for about two minutes, so this is a good time for like a dance break. like. Two minutes. Allow the mixture to rest for two minutes to let the bubble settle because whenever you involve an electric mixer and immersion blender, it's gonna bubble it all up. So we're gonna let the bubble settle. Then preheat a medium frying pan to medium heat. Medium frying pan. Um, medium heat and grease it with some butter or your oil of choice, or if you have a nonstick pan, good on you. I have a nonstick pan too. I like to add a little bit of butter because it, it makes it buttery, and we like butter on the keto diet. Using a large ladle, spoon the mixture onto a hot greased pan. Cook for about one minute until you start to see the bubbles rise to the top of the pancake. I don't know if you've ever cooked pancakes before, but if this is your first time cooking a pancake, look for those bubbles to rise. That is gonna be your indication that it's time to flip it. So using a spatula or your pan flipping skills, flip the pancake over and cook for an additional minute or so until golden brown on both sides. Then you're gonna wanna serve it with some sugar-free maple syrup and some butter and it will be super tasty. And that is your three ingredient pancakes. Now you can store these in the fridge or the freezer. You can do a meal prep of these pancakes, super easy breakfast type thing. Again, I said it's more like a crepe. You could probably roll some fruit with some sugar-free whipped cream. That'd be a fun breakfast. Anything you can do with a crepe, you can make like a, maybe like a sort of sandwich out of it or like a strawberry shortcake situation anything you want to do with it it's it's pretty versatile and it's a it's a pretty popular recipe because it's only three ingredients it's not going to take you any time at all to make these pancakes so i hope you love them and i hope you try more keto baking recipes and I do want to give you one tip about keto baking is don't give up. If you make an error with keto baking, they can always be repurposed. Carolyn Ketchum from All Day I Dream About Foods, she's the keto baking queen. No. I highly recommend her book and she talks a lot about all the different keto baking tips. In her book, she says, if you mess up, that's okay, repurpose it. You can, like tear it up, crumble it up, like a little pie crust out of it. That's kind of like what I do with cookies. You can maybe mix it with some cream cheese, make some fat bombs out of it. Don't get discouraged if you mess up in keto baking. It's, it's not a big deal. The ingredients behave a lot different than regular baking, so it's okay if you make a mistake. So get back in the kitchen, get cooking again try again I highly recommend that you try again so don't give up okay